In this video, I want to show you how to set up your YouTube music account, and even more than that, how to upload your existing MP3s or other music files into your YouTube music account so that you can listen to them. So step one is to go to music.youtube.com. When you get there, you'll want to sign into your account, and it's just your same YouTube account or Google account. Just sign in with those same credentials, and it'll take you to a screen something like this. This is my YouTube music home screen. Now the first time that I logged in, it took me to a screen that looks something like this. If I click Let's Go, you'll see basically what it's like. So this is probably like what you'll see when you use it for the first time. And what they want you to do is to pick five artists that you like. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to find five here, but I'll go with Bob Marley. I like some of his songs. Ooh, and there's another good one. Soda Stereo, I love their stuff. It's in Spanish mostly. And I'll select maybe two more. All right, so I've added a few bands or musicians that I enjoy. Now I can click Done. And because of this, YouTube Music will help me find other bands and other music that might appeal to me. So that's nice. But my main reason for wanting to use YouTube Music is to upload my own music library. I have MP3s and other audio files, and I would like to be able to listen to those easily wherever I am, using my smartphone, using a laptop, maybe streaming it through a home stereo system. So let's focus mostly on how to do that. But before we do, you'll notice that there are four buttons across the top of the screen. We're on the home page, and here on the home page, you can see there's a mix. It's a personalized mix just for me, and it's endless. So I can click play, and the music will just keep playing. There's also a playlist for my likes, music that I've selected and said that I like. And there's some other playlists as well. Here below, it's recommending other bands and musicians similar to Soda Stereo. And then there's some all-time essentials and some other recommendations that I'm getting. So that's what the home page is about. There's also an explore page where I have some new singles, new albums that are just fresh music that I can explore. There's also music videos. Next, I have my library. Now, as I purchase new music, it will be listed here in my library. And you can look at the playlists, you can look at albums, songs, and artists. You can see right now, I don't have anything there. There's also a search button. I can click to search for, let's say, Soda Stereo. And that brings up some songs and some albums and things, but these are not really in my library yet. But that's a way you can find new songs to buy, new music to listen to. Okay, so now that we've looked at all that, how can I get music that I've already purchased years ago, or even recently, how can I get those into my YouTube Music account so I can listen to them wherever I am? Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. The first way is to go here to my account avatar. I need to upload a picture, but for now, that's my account avatar. And when I click on it, there's a bunch of different options, but the one that's most important for this video is upload music. I can select that, and it opens up a window that I can use to browse my computer for music that I want to upload. So I'll just go here to music. I have a bunch of amazing music that I really should upload, but I'm going to start with my most recent purchase, and that is The Killer's most recent album, Imploding the Mirage. Those of you that watch a lot of my videos know that I love The Killers, and this is their brand new album. So I'm going to double click on that. It brings up all of the songs, and then I can click and drag to highlight all of them, or let's say there's 50 or 100 songs in this folder. Instead of clicking and dragging, I could hold Control or Command on a Mac and tap A to select all, and then I can click open. So now, all of those songs will soon begin uploading into my account. Now there is one more step. Since it's my first time uploading music with this account, I need to review and accept the use policy. So you just have to click that link, read through this, and make sure that you're following the rules. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. And now you can see that it's uploading this great new album from The Killers, Imploding the Mirage. If you wanna learn more about this album, Look in the description below. I'll have a link to The Killer's latest album. So that's one way to upload into YouTube Music. The other way will sometimes be easier, and that is to just find the music on your computer. You might need to scoot the browser window to the side or do something else so that you can find the actual music. For me, it's in this Finder window. And I'll just go here to iTunes, in my case. But wherever you keep your music, you would just go to it. Here's some good music from a band called Quan. 
and I want to upload all of that folder. There's only three songs in there, but I'll just click and drag and drop the folder anywhere on this window and just let go. And now instead of uploading 10 songs, it's uploading 13. So it's added those three additional songs to the queue and those songs by Quan will be added to my library before I know it. While these songs are uploading, I want to show you some key features and other aspects of YouTube Music. In the YouTube Music Help, you'll find this information. And if you end up using YouTube Music a lot, you'll probably want to read through all of this and make sure that you understand it. But this is one of the great things about uploading your own music. You can play uploaded songs in the background, ad-free, and offline, even if you're not currently a YouTube Music Premium subscriber. So some people think in order to use YouTube Music, I have to pay, I have to subscribe and pay a monthly fee to use this service. Well, that's true unless you have your own music that you already own. If you have music in the form of MP3s or if you have CDs that you know how to rip, you can then upload those MP3s or other file types. And because you own that music, you can listen to it ad-free. You don't have to have the YouTube music screen open in order to listen to the music. You don't have to have a connection to the internet. It prioritizes that music because you purchased it already. You already own it. You don't have to be a paying subscriber. And then another great feature of YouTube music is this. YouTube music will automatically remove duplicate copies in your library. So that's a nice feature to help you keep your library organized the way you want it to be. Okay, it looks like my uploads have finished uploading. They're now processing, but I'll go to the library and you can see that a lot of the songs are ready to be listened to right now. Due to copyright issues, I'm not going to play any of the killer songs. You're just gonna have to click my link to learn more about this awesome music. But instead, I'm gonna play this song by Quan. So I click play, the song comes up. and it starts playing. Now YouTube Music has some typical features that you're probably used to. You can give a song thumbs up so you can remember that you like that song or maybe you don't like it. You've got a volume control here. You can turn on repeat mode if you want. You can turn on shuffle mode and then this button here takes you back to your full library. Also there's three dots here that give you some powerful options like some stats. It says stats for nerds. It gives you all sorts of detail here. You can add the song to your list of liked songs. You can add it to a custom playlist. There's a bunch of good things you can do. Okay, now that I've got actual songs in my library, I can search, and when I search, it first just searches the internet for whatever music it can find. But in addition to that, I can click here on Uploads and it will find just songs in my library. Now, if you like YouTube music, you're gonna want to definitely install apps on your smartphone and tablets. So for iPhones and iPads, there's a YouTube Music app that works really well. And there's also a Google Play app for YouTube Music. And once you're signed into your account, it will sync all of your music that you've uploaded using your YouTube Music account on your computer. So in this video, we've looked at two ways to upload music to your YouTube Music account. One is here by clicking on Upload. And then the other is just clicking and dragging and dropping songs or folders of songs anywhere in the YouTube Music window. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.